Today on Review This Thing, we're going to pattern test this Winchester SXP 20 gauge long beard with the True Lock 560 choke. Hey, this is Robbie with Review This Thing, and we're right in the middle of all our pattern testing videos, and we've got this Winchester SXP long beard 20 gauge fitted with a True Lock choke. On top, we put a Williams Gunsight LRS. These are brand new, just came out this year. In case you haven't seen it, they basically took a red dot and flipped it upside down. Battery compartment and every, all the electronics are right on the top, and it gets you quite a bit lower on the gun. Today we've got six different TSS loads. All of them are number nine shot, and we're gonna be shooting them at 40 yards. Let's get going. So this gun isn't sighted in for this choke and this load, but we're really looking at where the pattern is. First on the list today is Apex. They've done well out of this gun so far with other chokes. So let's see what they do here. <laughs> I don't know that we need to shoot anything else. I can't even see the turkey's head on the pad on the target. <laughs> oh man. That's impressive right there. Oh wow. That is a lot of pellets in that turkey's head. And it sighted in pretty good for that load, in case you can't tell. So the apex load came in with 238 in a six inch circle and 363 in a 10 inch circle. All right, next up is Fiocchi Golden Turkey. This is the only factory load that we have in the test. They have continued to do very well across all of our testing this spring so far. This choke seems pretty nasty. So I know I said this gun wasn't sighted in for that choke, but that's a lot of shot right there in the middle of this target. Looking pretty good. I'm digging this choke so far really good. The Fiocchi Golden Turkey came in with 160 pellets in a six inch circle and 253 in a 10 inch circle. Not quite as many as the Apex, but that's still impressive. And now we're going to shoot Viper ammunition. There is a lot of white on that target as well. Let's go take a look. Sometimes I feel like a broken record, but I think that is sighted in for that choke pretty doggone good. That load looks like it might be a little bit right. There's a few flyers over here to the right off the target, but not very many. That's a lot of pellets right there in that turkey's head and neck. In case you didn't think we would have more pellets in a 10 inch circle than that first load, Viper came in with 233 in a six inch circle and nearing 400 in a 10 inch circle at 393. Pretty impressive. Here comes Foxtrot ammo, Crusher. It just looks really impressive. Maybe it's a better batch of targets, I don't know. I'm sure I can probably see it once I get closer, but I'm impressed. So it was really hard to see the turkey's head from back there. Isn't that a lot of yellow and pink on this target? Only a few flyers do have a couple high. Man, that is a lot of pellets in that target. And Foxtrot, which is new to our testing, new to our channel, came in with 247 in a six inch circle and 358 in a 10 inch circle. That's really tight, it really is. This 20 gauge has been liking the verdict shell so far. Let's see what they can do with this choke. I feel like I keep saying the same thing over and over, but wow. Like I can barely see the turkey's head, but I can only see the turkey's head because I can't see the turkey's neck from all the pellets. So taking a look at that target, there is obviously a lot right there in the middle. A lot right there around that turkey's neck. A few flyers right, a few flyers left, but it is very concentrated right there in the middle. And Verdict, which has always done good for us, came in with 200 and 321 in a 10 inch circle. Still over that 300 mark. The last load on the list for today is Rogue Ammunition. Been really impressed with these. 
pretty much have been impressed with all the loads today. I'm not sure if it's a new batch of targets or if these loads are really just doing that good, but those targets have been really white. I have uh, no doubts that Rogue is going to do the same thing. That one packed a pretty good punch. It looks just a little bit left. That could have been me pulling it. But it looks like a really good pattern from here. So I think I either pulled that one a little bit to the left, or we just need to move it a little bit to the right if we're going to hunt with that load. But that's a lot of white right there. And if that white was right here on his neck, boy, you really wouldn't be able to see him. And our fifth of six loads over the 300 mark, and another one really close to 400 in that 10-inch circle, we had 236 in the 6 inch circle and 380 in a 10 inch circle. So that true like choke in a 560 constriction did really well. It put five of those six loads over the 300 mark and four of those five were over 350 pellets. Stay tuned to the channel. We've got a lot more pattern tested videos coming and thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our pattern test video of the Winchester SXP Longbeard 20 gauge with the True Lock Choke. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe, and even share with all your friends. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Go Wild. Check out our hauler store. Also, go to ReviewThisThingTV.com 